Hi, so in video 1096, I talked about the growth of self-sufficiency in the 1970s and how it led to a huge movement and seems to be having a resurgence now 40 years later. And I was telling Luke about this. I was telling him about the standpipes at the streets and the blackouts that we used to have when we had no power. And he just didn't know anything about it. Well, he's a different generation, obviously, and we do forget these things. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to build something called a pedal-powered power unit. Okay, they weren't brilliant at suggesting names in the 1970s. This thing was called the Dynapod, and it looked like this. Now, you can see what essentially it is. It's a bicycle with a frame welded onto it. So to do that, we have... This thing. I'm pretty much finished with what I'm going to do on hubless wheels because now I want to make this power unit. So we're going to use this bicycle frame to make the dino pod. Okay, so 10 minutes it took me to strip that down to its basic frame. And of course you can buy a second hand frame for next to nothing. Although we seem to be endlessly finding them. But this is the basics of the machine. Now all you really do is put a foot on here little cradle here to hold everything up, that's where your seat's going to be, and a work table here where we take the power off here to the work table. The idea being that on the work table is the power out and we can swap those things around. So let's make a cradle for it. So that's the forks welded solid and the feet welded on the forks. So clearly we've got to deal with this back end now because this has to lift up. Now it has to lift up so that the pedals clear the floor, clearly. So what we're going to do, I think, is take a couple of sections of square, put them here, and then an upright that bolts through here where the original wheel went, so that basically that will hold it. Then we need one angle piece going to here to give a little bit of extra support, and that's the back frame done. So let's cut out the bits for the back. I up this T-piece from a bit of old shelving, which was great because it had these feet blocks. Whack the feet blocks in, nice 10 mil bolts there, and that makes the back of it. So we've got our front bit, and we can stick our back bit on. And that's quite a lot of it done, actually. Now obviously this bit swivels, so it needs a stay between here and here, and then we can put the seat on. Now seat goes right there, and of course there's no way I'm sitting on that, so we need a seat. Now what I've got for a seat is this broken office chair. So I'm going to saw that office chair up, put it on a platform on there, and then put this stay in. So believe it or not, that's the basic machine finished. And you can see what I've done. I mean, all I did was take the original bike, welded on this bit of pipe here, welded on this T-section here. There's the strap bar to stop everything moving that way. And then I welded that onto the handlebars and bolted it straight back onto the handlebar fitting. So very little in the way of adaption. Now, I've done a fair bit of welding, but equally you could bolt this up if you wanted to. But when we've finished the basic frame of the machine, obviously that's our power input, which is our legs. I've sat on this and pedaled this like mad and it does just fine. But we have to take this chain that we're inputting, put it through a gear system and get it up to here with the shaft turning in either that direction or that direction so that we can put on different machinery to it. So the next task on this is to fit that gear transmission. Now we've done lots on gears of a whole range of things. So if you look at the previous videos, the transmissions and gears are going to be along the lines that we've actually done already. Okay, so I thought I'd clamber on this thing and show you that it does in fact carry my weight. And there we go, pedaling away. Now this is meant to be a kind of Swiss army knife of pedal power, because quite a few people are making pedal powered machines, but it just does one job. The idea here is that that whole unit acts as the power unit and what we do is put on different adaptations to make it do multifunctional tasks. Now the reason for it is instead of going directly to electricity generation, and of course we could do that, we could put a generator on this and it would become a generator. The estimate is 70% of the power is lost throughout everything and throughout the translation into electricity. And we regain that 70% if we use the direct mechanical power of our legs through a machine like this. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I've read. So, 
Here is the basic frame. We now need to attach gears and then we need to do an output shaft that we can put different bits on. Anyway, this will be the next few projects. I hope you're enjoying it so far and thank you very much for watching.